Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scrubby. Welcome back to Remothered Broken Porcelain. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, and if you'd like to support the channel, avoid seeing the ads, and you'd also be welcome to join my private satisfactory server. And come play with us. All you gotta do is subscribe. You can do that for five dollars or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime. If you or someone you know has an Amazon Prime account, you can connect that to your Twitch account. This will give you one free Prime subscription every month. If you choose to use it here, you can join the server for free and you won't have to see any ads. Otherwise, you got to be lucky and get gifted a sub. Same, same kind of thing YouTube started doing. If you have a YouTube Premium and you've had it for three months or longer, you can use the YouTube Join button to become a channel member for free for up to ten dollars a month so even if you don't choose to use it here use it on somebody use it on your favorite creator that's between the two twitch and youtube that's fifteen dollars of free money that's just sitting there that you can give to somebody so um if you're watching later on youtube and you would like to join the server you can use the youtube join button or the patreon link in the description if you do any of those things make sure you look for a discord link in the YouTube description or pinned in the twitch chat message me there I will get you the server information help you get logged in if you need it and schedule time to come play with you we've also been discussing changing that server over to another game but satisfactory 1.0 is supposed to release sometime this year probably towards the end of the year so I don't know 
I don't know what to think about it. So, let's get into it. Let's just play. Bump, bump, two, fifth, twenty-two, eighteen, auto save. That's it. Where'd we leave off here? Oh, yeah. Uh oh, just got cigarettes. the voice you know first we gotta look for secrets uh -huh. let me try to be so close when the night She's playing basketball? Wait, is the basketball hoop above the flowers? That's a horrible idea. <laughs> Those flowers are going to be destroyed. You suck. Ooh, what's that? Uh, what's that? What the hell did I just pick up? No idea. Okay. But we it didn't say anything. So close when the night was Come on, make one. Just make one. You and me. Nope. <laughs> as long as you see. A lonely heart so close, close when the night was fast. You and me. Oh dear, uh, sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I'd prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? Truce. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea. There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look. The performance will take place in a theater. I say you should go for it. No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, you're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you. I play the piano. Listen, we can do this. Oh, oh, we're going to make this one. I don't know, Come Jen. On. I don't know. And how would we even get there? Right. We could talk to there. Ashton about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> oh, it's only on. two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. So not only is that ball going to destroy these flowers, somebody's going to throw it over this fence too. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? 
All right, we're gonna go a little bit <laughs> higher. It's not a nice story. Right there. Oh, come on. That wasn't even as Fail. far as I aimed. Whoa. Ah, typical beginner's luck. I wonder if I would have gotten an achievement if I would have made it first. All right, so let's just try to go straight in this time without hitting the backboard. All right. What? And the crowd goes wild. Nerd, when you lose the, the basketball was challenge. Clearly corrupt. <laughs> Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. They made it for a movie. Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. Was as soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet. But will you get a chance to? Yeah, nobody finished the thing in the Discord. It says EA Sports. It's in the... <laughs> you should write, like, toilet or something. <laughs> Reach the underground lab. Oh, yeah, we got... We escaped into the dumbwaiter. Ooh! Ooh! That's the guy. That's the guy. <gasps> he saw me. What am Once. I doing? Oh, don't give up now, Jen. <laughs> I can hear you. I can feel what you are feeling. I am in your head. Closer and closer, but what are you planning to do? Stop me. You will fail, as did all those who came before you. Yeah, that's why I left it too. I wanted like Malik or someone to come in and finish it. What is this place? What was that? That wasn't me. Yeah, that's me. Oh my god! What the no, hell? No. Oh, the dog! Murderers! Fucking murderers! <sighs> it's not too late. Turn back, little girl. Fly away. Go away. I don't believe they threw the dog down here. That's the one that they stabbed. Ugh. Saw sparkly. Ooh, moth key. Still don't know what those are for. Uh, so she's trying to escape, and now we're down in the dungeon. Like, this is less escape than we were before. <laughs> we're never getting out of here. At least before we were outside. We still don't know why her arm's broken. We know that, that it had something to do with Lynn, the other girl. Him again. Professor Wyman. Oh, Jesus, he makes my stomach turn. 
Various documents and newspaper extracts. It almost looks like a sociopath's hideout. Okay. I got a knife, and that's all I got. Okay. I need to collect some more items. There's another moth key. I'm guessing we're going that way. It kind of looks like the reception of an old hospital. Or something similar. I got a baby. Bottle. Can I look at this? I thought I saw it. No? I'm fine. Uh, insecticide. I don't know why that's sitting in a desk down here, but... Can we even go this way? Yeah, I don't know if she can go down far enough. Nope. So I can combine the baby with the insecticides? Stun and damage to enemy, or the bottle? I don't know. I didn't use any of the other ones I made, and I tried to, and she missed them. <laughs> One step forward, two steps back. Into the basement. Turn on the power in the lab. Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened here? Wire. Oh. Oh, that's a screwdriver. I already got a knife. Oh, okay. Oops. That's what I feel like with my life. One step forward, ten steps back. Another moth key. Why am I collecting those? Icebreaker. Ooh. I haven't seen this before. It improves the ability to block doors to keep stalkers away. Well, I've never used that. Improves stamina and speed. Reduces noise when moving and improves proficiency inside hiding spots. Okay, so it'd be easier to not get spotted in hiding spots. No glow wishes. Ethnicities should mind their own business, meaning don't focus on another ethnicity's issues, just your own. No glow was alive during the Civil War. I just don't think white people should help black people in slavery. <laughs> oh, I got 190 moth keys. I um, I wonder what if what he means is like people shouldn't be mad for other people that they're not a group of. They're not that they're not in the group of. Like people on Twitter getting mad for other people, maybe. Or maybe he just means exactly what he said. I don't know. <laughs> Sharpness increases proficiency with defense items. Defense mini games when a stalker attacks are slightly easier. Improves health recovery. Health recovery speed while crouching is increased by 5%. Improve proficiency in using diversion items. Time to activate sound diversion plus five. Damage done by diversions plus five. Hmm. Unlock special ability when health is critical. Noise from movement speed. Movement reduced by 2%. Add a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. <coughs> Adds a chance that after acquiring a moth key, you're gifted another one. Oh. 
improves proficiency when using the moth eye, increases range and duration of highlight effect after moth eye ends by 10%. Okay. I think we'll go with the luck one first. <clears throat> it costs 10. I think I get 10 every time I pick one up. So I know I didn't pick up 190, but I may have picked up 19. So I may have 10 each time I pick one up. Talking about BLM and how white people shouldn't be allowed to support their movement. I think maybe he's just not smart enough <laughs> to understand. I don't know. Or maybe he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Maybe he knows enough to think he knows what he's talking about, but he's like way off. <laughs> That's what I meant. I didn't mean he's stupid. <laughs> this is a bad way to say that. All right, let's get luck. One out of five times upon finding a defense, a quick defense item, knife, etc., it will already have the corrosive power up. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> I could get one in each. Hmm. Brian wasn't citing a Mogul. I think Mogul tokenizes his girlfriend and daughter too much when he makes racial remarks. Are they black? I guess I didn't even know he had a girlfriend or a daughter. It's been a long time. Since I really kept up with those guys. So I don't even know how to block doors in this game. I did I could in the other one. It didn't work very good. <sighs> Improve stamina and speed. Stamina and speed. Mm -hmm. By five percent. Movement reduced. Noise from movement reduced by ten percent. That's a good one. Stamina and speed. Girlfriend is black and daughter is half black and half really white. <laughs> Increases proficiency with defense items. Eh. Health recovery. That'd be good. Plus five damage. Noise for movement reduced. Oh, that's only when my health is super low. Oh, they don't all use 10. Oh, these only use 5. And, and this, the first one's only 5. Get the luck again increases likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 15%. Hmm. One out of five times upon finding a quick defense item, it will have the butcher power up if I get this one. Hmm. Oh, wait, this one is. Radius of diversion sound 20%. I don't really use a diversion sound. I don't even know how to use this one. Stamina increased by 5%. Um, reduce the difficulty in hiding spot mini game. Improves damage of quick defense items. <laughs> he 
increase the likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 50%. Okay, we maxed that one out. 100% luck. Yay. <clears throat> Sprint duration improved by 10%. I got 60 more. Improves damage of quick defense items. You need one less corrosive product to craft items with corrosive property. That one kind of sucks. I don't like that one. Um, increase range and duration highlight effect area by 15%. Increases moth eye duration by 15. I got 20 left. Sprint speed improved by an additional 10%. Reduces difficulty in hiding spot. One less corrosive protecting to craft. See, I still haven't even used one of those. Mirror health, speed. Doesn't really matter. Time to activate sound diversions. Radius of sound diversions. Mm, reduces moth eye cooldown by 20%. This one costs 20. How much do I actually use that, though? Sprint duration improved by an additional 10%. I got five left. I could get this one. No, I'll just save it. <clears throat> well, cool. I've never seen one of those before. That was the first time. <clears throat> this looks like a muffler up here, but then on the end, it looks like a rail gun. <laughs> switch out my knife I'll keep that wait but does this have oh this one has an ability because I found it after what is this one Shit. I can't see it Yeah, so I was laying down into bed to watch a movie, and Laura was too, and I said, hey, look at these uh, couples counselors for me. And she said, I've been thinking you should keep looking for places. Like, okay, that's cool. I'll just do that. Hmm? That, oh, that's ammonia. So can I make something else? Stun enemy, stun and damage enemy for some time. That seems good. Stun the enemy only. Stun and, and damage the enemy for some time. Stun and damage enemy. <coughs> Let's make that. People would say you're doing the right thing by trying to solve things. 
I guess I thought that um, we were going to talk to the counselors first before, before I went and did that for sure because I'm going to get to a point that's time to put an offering on a place or whatever happens and then they take it. That's it. <clears throat> yeah. And, and she told me to hold off on looking at places specifically. Can't see her specific words were can you put it on hold? And I was like, okay. Now she says she didn't say that. Alright, how do I get out of here? Go up there? Can I move this? Can I move this? Can I... Push this? I'm guessing I gotta go up there, right? I can't, uh... another place to go that I didn't see I came in here there is this place but I can't I can't go in there oh wait what's that what's this something switched on oh power oh jeez well, that would have been nice to have earlier. Scissors. Oh, I still can't go that way? This looks like a nice room. Can I move this now? This is how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acrontia. Mother Acrontia? I managed to reduce the connection of the moss to their Mother Acrontia. Synthesizing the parasite is what made Phenoxyl Proto Type 2 a success. The sisters of the Crystal Mont. Morente see me as their leader, an extension of their own thought. To justify the photophobia <coughs> which they inherited from the Acronchia, I convinced them that the damage to their sight was instead a gift from God. However, I have identified one who attempts to prevail over their over her companions. Gloria Ashman and often read and often rejects me as the leader i am beginning to feel the influence she has on others as an antagonistic leader as new moth acrontia <sighs> new mother acrontia <laughs> acrontia acrontia if the thing were to get out of hand, I will have no other choice but to opt for a collective hyp hypnosis. Despite the risk of entering the porcelain phase, the fracture. A.E. Whining. Can I move this now? The hell? Am I not going up there? Of protectant. No wonder, while everyone thought you were dead, you were down here playing the role of the happy surgeon. 
Wyman unaliving, no news. The ongoing investigation regarding Professor A.E. Wyman's logging out of life haven't produced significant evidence to keep the case open. The logging out bears some mysterious clues which suggest that it may have been staged. However, the authorities have decided to terminate investigations and close the case. So they're not even looking into what happened to him. Can I leave now? What is going on here? Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. 25 million pounds to Stefano Ashman, Rosso Gallo Farm, Ariana Gallo. Phenoxyl, created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia. Its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother acherontia. Collective hypnosis. The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The start. The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. The leader acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten. The collective consciousness breaks. The fracture. If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture, also called the porcelain phase. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. What happened? New list ranking presidents of the US have been released based on their achievements. I want a list based on who did a good job and who sucked. Power's broken. Can I get out of here now? I'm gonna go save it again so I don't have to go through all this when I die. <clears throat> this is great. New presidential rankings. I shouldn't forget it now. <laughs> All right, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, What's look that? at that! I can it see looks like there's there. light coming from that wall. It's a hidden door. Ooh, fancy! Bingo. 
Where'd the light go? Oh. Okay. Cable and screwdriver. I don't need that. I'm going to drop the baby. Applies butcher power up, enabling, enabling to use the QDI. Oh, quick defense item two times before it breaks. Oh. Adds corrosive power up to deal damage over time. <coughs> well, we already have a... Wait. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, this one. Okay. So, I already have... A butcher one. What was the other one? That's a baby. Is this one? Your driver? I don't know. Uh, a baby. Get out of here, baby. Ooh, moth key. Reroute power to the projection room. <coughs> moth key, yeah. I don't need that. There. Yeah, I really wish it would show you what you're picking up, especially because it's so dark you can't see. Looks like scissors. Okay. This looks like a music box. Looks like a place to hide. Wire. I guess as long as it's not a diversion or a defense item, it can hold as many as unlimited. Oh, this phone's gonna ring, you know it is. What is this place? <coughs> can I go this way? Getting the moth keys. Guess those power ups I got were good stuff. Oh man, I'm so exhausted, man. Now I gotta. It's just like I gotta find. I mean, like, like I have a place that's still avail available to get. It was that townhouse but it's not necessarily exactly what I want I'm gonna have to settle for something that I can afford I did uh, send a text to the realtor that said is there is there anything that I can rent monthly like not not like an apartment where I have to sign a contract for six or eight ten months twelve months or whatever like maybe a condo that I can rent and pay monthly that's like reasonably priced or man, probably gonna cost more I don't know I haven't heard back from her though because I think she's on vacation my realtor all right so we need to we need to bring power to this room
So I dropped. I'm gonna drop this baby. She keeps picking up babies. That's a bottle. Okay. <clears throat> so I can apply his corrosive power up, stuns enemies for some time. I don't know. Let's try corrosive. So, all right, we need the power to make that thing work. How long is it going to take before I start losing the stuff in my inventory? Because I'm trying to pick stuff up and I accidentally leave it behind. What was that? Oh, that's the thing I dropped. That's the baby. Ooh, you know what? I was destroying these when I was the moths. I couldn't interact with them. Seems like only the moths can do it. There's some back at the beginning that I found. Alright, turn this way, little girl. So I guess I could use this to, like, search around places before I actually go in. It's a little bit hard to use. Wow, this is going for way longer than I thought. So now, after I use that, I got some power-ups that let me see, like, highlighted enemies and stuff for longer. After it's done. What's this? It looks like... A bottle. Feels like someone's dropping a basketball from time to time. We still don't know who's in the walls, right? That she was feeding. What's this? Looks like a knife. Oh, they've all stopped. stopped. Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man? As you <coughs> said that, my brother was using a hammer in the other room. I was like, why does he hear? Why does he hear what I hear? What was I saying? Oh, I was saying... Did you hear what I said? Basketball in the walls. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Renoxel, the evolution of psychiatry. The human mind itself is responsible for the emotional, physical, and sensory inhibitions of the organisms such as fear, pain, and disease. These factors limited the sur limit the survival, development, and evolution of the genus. Binoxyl through hypnosis will prove itself to be the only means of breaking down and repressing human barriers. Desensitizing the organism. It is all in our heads, a conviction of weakness, even death itself. So with the moths and stuff in the mirrors at the end of the, f well, at the first one that I had to break all the mirrors... I wonder if that's got something to do with something. Do I have? Let's drop this. And then let's pick up this. Alright. Um, well, I've already been over here. This is the first door I came to. And I went all the way around to that door. And I didn't find anything. Alright. Do I need to go back from here? save again. You know something's coming up to kill me. Uh, 
Alright, so let's shut this power off. Maybe. Okay, so it's down. Oh, I did it. That's it. <clears throat> now what? Now what's going to happen? Oh, you know something's going to happen. Stop. another hidden door here what is this place all these clothes and these toys what does it all mean no <laughs> I mean someone lives here right It's coming through here. And this? How did it end up here? Oh, that's a nail gun. I have to carry out a group hypnosis in order to get everyone to meet me again. Her two were showing me a sound. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. Oh 
Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of babies up here. Wait, where's my... Okay. One, two, three. I don't want to have a damn baby. Every time I... It always makes me pick up the baby. Oh, wait. No, go back. thing out here that it made me drop oh it's another baby why do I keep getting babies does this have ammo or can I just continue to shoot it forever okay This is back over on the other side. Another baby. To the projection room. The projection room? Why? Let's save again. Switching out this baby. No, I guess I should keep a noisemaker on me. Why? Why am I here? The power's obviously off. That's what she said, right? To the projection room. Ask for help using the microphone. You just broke the microphone in the other room there, lady. We had a microphone, you broke it. Why can't I use this? I'm clicking it. What do you want me to do? Damn it. That was one that I spent stuff on too. I don't know. Damn it, I just wasted one. Oh, this is where I came down the dumb waiter. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait. No? I couldn't go in there. Oh, look at all the mirrors. Oh, that's where the host goes, I bet. Wait, I should reload and get my damn bottle back. I spent items on making that better. Also, you could get jump scared by ads if they just pop up without warning, but here, I like to warn you when they're coming, and I'm going to have to run a three minute ad break that will shut off the pre-roll ads for the next hour. Now if you don't want to see those ads, all you got to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. 
Otherwise, you gotta be lucky and get gifted a sub. Here's a three minute ad break that'll shut off pre roll ads for the next hour. Ha ha ha. New rankings for presidents has Obama and Biden in the top 15. Donald Trump in last place. This is great. New presidential rankings just came out showing President Biden and President Obama in the top 15 presidents of all time, whereas Donald Trump is in last place. Yeah, I just know that Donald Trump is seething and even Fox News talked about it. So these new presidential rankings came from the Presidential Greatness Project and the 154 respondents in the survey included presidential scholars, political scientists, well-cited scholars as well, and more. The respondents were asked to rank presidents on a zero to 100 scale, zero being a failure, 50 being average, and 100 being great. And the top five were Lincoln, FDR, George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, and Thomas Jefferson. But for Donald Trump, he was in last place on the survey, being ranked worse than James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, Franklin Pierce, and William Henry Harrison. Yeah, last place. And the crushing fact about this survey for Trump supporters is that President Obama was ranked number seven, Bill Clinton was ranked 12, and President Biden was ranked number 14. So all of the recent Democratic presidents were in the top 14, and Donald Trump is in last place. Remember, these are presidential scholars. They are experts in their field and their ranking for Donald Trump makes sense. You can't be in the top 40 after inciting an insurrection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I hope that means he's not going to get elected again. Lights back on. Wait, what? <laughs> Use this microphone? Oh, you just smashed it. <laughs> Jeez, man. I just want to get away. Oh, you got me. Where the hell am I supposed to? It hates it. What was that? Defeat porcelain by using the cage lights? Okay. 
stage lights? What are those? So we gotta go back and try to use the phone again. <coughs> if she didn't. Uh, test. There we go. Anybody there? Lynn! Can anyone hear me? I'm trapped down here. Can somebody help me? Lynn! Lynn, tell me you're there! Anyone! Somebody! Somebody help! I'm down here in this shithole! Lynn! Lynn! If you're there, can you hear me? Uh oh. Jennifer! Lynn! Oh, Christ. No way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was never upset with you. It's okay. I understand. And you were right about everything. Jen? Jen? <laughs> Nobody's daughters? Complete chapter three. Flashback. <laughs> Daryl Pictures presents before saying Daryl Pictures Daryl is the guy that made these games. Daryl's his last name. Oh, oh what's going to happen to her? Where did you find the movie? They have tons of films here. <laughs> this place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go, you and I. Seriously? Look, you're the only thing that has ever made me feel alive. I want to start over from scratch. Mm. Explain to me, what exactly are we looking for? Okay, since we just started a chapter, and it seems like nobody's watching right now except for maybe Zaylin. Hey, what's going on? What's this about people sucking? <laughs> no, uh, here, I'll be right back, and uh, I'll recap.
I just found out that she's sleeping in Will's room. Um, so hold on a little bit, maybe she'll go to sleep. Shh, we have to be quiet. Oh, I'm this girl. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office, for small emergencies, etc. Yes, 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 I like getting myself into trouble. Let's call it a compensation for our services. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in November. I needed a roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So, here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington Girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad, more than anything. Well, I couldn't bear the other girls. And before that? <sighs> I ran away. At least, that's what I remember. Lynn, it's a sad story. I left it in the past. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life? Change name? Feel like a whole new person? All the time. Locked, obviously. What now? Wait, I can try to force it. Have you done it before? Um, no, but I've seen it being done. So, you became a professional after watching it being done? No, but I'm a quick learner. <laughs> well, hun, let's roll up our sleeves. Can you imagine Ashman's face when he finds out we used his money to pay for train tickets, hotel, and the contest sign-up fee? Oh, yes, he will lose his shit. Oh. <clears throat> it's nothing really new. I knew it. It's just kind of more of the same, you know? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The hell was that all about? This place is like a museum. Come out. Did you find something? No. What do we have here? We're searching for cash. Oh, it's a safe? What'd I get? Look at this! Let's go crazy, would you say? Uh, where did you find that? And what are you planning to do with it? Oh, I, I almost forgot. <gasps> you finished it! I convinced myself that we should take part in the contest. <sighs> we have to try it immediately! But how? I'll show you. Help me out. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. He's drawing on his desk. Um. Also, she found a gun on the desk there. Sing. But how? Pretend you can hear the music. Where I'll guide you. Where is everybody? They're going to get in trouble. So we still also, we don't know why Jennifer's arm was broken. We knew it has to do with, with her somehow. Get to ride out to Phoenix tomorrow. Probably going to be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, wow. How far is it? That's the whole day. Is that for work or are you just going...
work and pleasure. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why we can't hear her singing. Oh no! We have to leave now. The window. He's not gonna notice someone drew a piano on his desk, and there's a gun. Never. Oh! Oh no! They will never let me leave. Oh no! Oh no. Well, obviously she didn't shoot either of us because she's still alive. Oh, what? I can only... I can't turn. I can only... <coughs> she didn't notice me scream? Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Every button I press is forward. that? A portable radio. Oh, I lost all my stuff again? Oh, jeez. It's not even worth making that stuff because I don't use it, and then when we start a new chapter, I lose all my stuff. Hide from porcelain while waiting for the moth eye to regen. Where is he? I couldn't get in there. Oh, okay. Oh, that didn't do anything. I have to do something. I have to stop Elisa. Oh, what was that? Okay, come back. Hide. At least until I manage to build up some energy. So this stuff. Bricks. There we go. That's how I was looking for. Fuck! Lynn, move! Oh my god. So, the little moth guy right here, I'm waiting for that to regen. It probably, I just realized. Put that there. Don't you dare touch her, bastard! <laughs> She's just hiding in a locker and yelling. Still waiting. I don't know why it's drained. Well, maybe because I saw the the red nun. Leave us alone! <laughs> what the? Come on. <laughs> I I want to go home. Ooh. Oh yeah, the perks I got made this easier. Come on. I can't moth while I'm in here? Shit. So what if I moth now? Am I supposed to go get him? Wait, what? What just happened? I 
I used it and I tried to get him and it just went away. I I have to do something. I have to stop Elisa. I got a moth key. Throw the brick! Holy crap, dude. Why does I have it to not... hide. Oh At God. least until I manage to build up some energy. Why does it not work sometimes? I can do it. I can do it now. What? It's gone. Go, 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 go. Three hours. <clears throat> Alright, so what am I supposed to do? I can use my moth ability. But then what? Don't you dare touch her, bastard! Oh, God. What's up, Malik? I don't know what this game wants me to do. Leave us alone! Get your hands off her! They didn't do anything. <coughs> what did I get? I'm stuck. No, Lynn! I can't do anything. We need you to finish a phrase, yeah. I... I have to do something. I have to stop Elisa. Alright, my moth is back. I can't moth while I'm in here. So I gotta get out. I have to hide. At least until I manage to build up some energy. Go. Go, go, Gadget Moth. Is this going to let me out? What? When I go to do it, it just goes away. Fuck! Lynn, move! Oh, I have an idea. He's gonna kill me before I do this. Uh, oh, go in. Oh my god, go in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it's too far. Oh, he's right there. So I gotta get closer. Leave us alone! She's yelling like that is not helping your hiding ability. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. What do I do now? I ran out of moth. I... I have to do something. I have to stop Elisa. Here it is, here it is. Okay. 
Bam, take that. Uh, no! Uh, Order the new it monitor. Hurts. It's coming Monday. I can't wait. Oh. What is it? Better? What is it? He's coming in here. Please, oh. I beg you. Oh shit! Run! Ugh. Now what? Ooh. Where's the girl? Where's the other girl? There's some electrical thing going on. Oh god. I'm pressing the button. Oh, you're replacing the the old one with something better. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Where'd the damn girl go? Go away! Oh, she's in the car. Oh, she must be looking for keys. Ooh, run. Yeah. Dude, I gotta, like, flash this guy, or... What was that? No! Hit the lights. Okay. Oh, nice friggin' throw. Okay, so I gotta go a little high. I don't have anything left to throw. Oh, 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 I got the nail gun. the 
lights above him? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Shoot him when he's underneath him. Oh! Oh, the moths go for the light. stuff since I used it all. Girl, what are you doing? Damn, damn it. Damn. Why do the buttons not work so fast?
hitting right click, right click, right click, right, 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 right click, and it just is doing nothing until it's too late. Now, click, 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 click. Okay, there it goes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is she trying to hotwire it? Is that what all that noise is? All right, I got another screwdriver at least. Oh wait, go hide, go hide, go hide, go hide, go hide. Right here. Lynn, what can I do? The moths are acting like a shield. Then the lights should shoot those fucking hanging lights. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Come on, come on. Shooting him is doing anything. Oh, shit. He switched. What? I'm kidding. is not the end she's gonna crash they're gonna get recaptured in one way or another porcelain kept us all guarded someone else will take his place now and it's going to be ten times worse it's only a matter of time oh Shen, you shouldn't have they will never let me leave why are you involved in this too explain for god's sake what did you do i have warned you not to touch anything not to Trust anyone! Of the stuttering! And the child is dreaming in REM face. A riddle. And on open wings, a moth is a place. And when his mother screamed, that much of blood red death bestowed its touch. I told you to leave. To leave this godforsaken place! See? What the hell was that? That's porcelain stone. He's gonna be standing in the road. He never left us. He's gonna be in the road. Why did you do it? <laughs> yep. Well, I guess he didn't crash, but she was recaptured. Just like I thought. We needed that girl. She was her only hope of getting rid of porcelain. You knew it very well. Jennifer was your daughter. From what I know, 
You like to hurt who? You. You need to shut your mouth! You fucking rapist! How vulgar. Felton deserved it. How could I have known that he was still capable of conceiving? I thought that fucking him was enough to remind him that he is just a pussy. And to punish him for stealing Ariana from me! Fucking son of a bitch! It was you who insisted so much that I reminded you of the whole story. At the end of the day, we're just chatting, isn't that right? Jennifer, I have to... to stay. What does that mean? You want to quit now? We are in deep trouble, can't you see? Let's leave our troubles here, let's leave! We can start over! Flashback. I, I can't do it! I can't do it! What about us? The contest? Do you not understand? You have to leave! Holy shit, we know! There's no use. They will never let us leave! I belong to this place! Lynn, you have to listen to me! Put that thing away! Somebody would have heard that. Is that why she's got the cast on her arm? She Nineteen shot her in the years. Arm? Nineteen years has passed. If I'm being honest, it would have been better for everyone if Whoa. you had done it that same night. <laughs> oh, she did crash. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Lynn! Where'd she go? You won't do it, Mr. Ashman. Oh, yes, Lynn. I will. What? Of course I will. What? Lynn? What? What's happening? Madam? Would you like to stop? Oh, it's the old lady telling I doubted story. myself so many times. I often pondered on it. Believe me. Would I have had the same courage? How does someone who's about to lose everything feel if that person has already lost everything once before? I would have done the same for my sister. If only I had a chance. Why are you so obsessed? Do you not see what this insatiable server has led you to? I was only a child. You and Wyman. You used me. The nuns. Gloria. She was your sister. Shut your fucking mouth. Do it. He Please. looks like. Shoot me. He looks like Come a feral on. ghoul from what the Fallout What would the young Vegas. lady at the reception desk say? The young lady at the what? <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so she's Lynn. 5 p.m. Poor thing. She left just after your arrival. <laughs> she was Lynn in the first game, because that's Dr. Reed. <laughs> that was easy. There's no one else here besides you and I. Well, almost. We're so happy you came back, Lynn. Like Give old times, honest. remember? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Only between old friends. Uh oh! What? You don't deserve to die. You deserve a much worse ending. You deserve to suffer by living in agony. As I did for the past 19 years. By rebelling during the last hypnosis. The one that should have stopped Gloria and her Akaranzia. Akaranzia. It only slowed down things. Things. The after effects that 
I'm in fear. The fracture. The poison invade. Nevertheless, you were somehow left linked to one another. And now you are once again a single being. A unified conscience. Let me out of here! Do you not understand that you have come back because <laughs> he wanted to? And whilst Felton and I desperately searched for a way to use Phenoxyl to forget, Wyman replaced the holes in our memories with his own. He inserted his conscience in our minds. And do you know the reason why he did it, Lynn? Fuck off! He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Now you are his biggest inheritance. Sounds like he never played in high school. Now the things, the the things. I'm stuck. I just want to get away from this place. So is this Doctor Reed from the first game, and she was been Lynn the whole time? I have to keep trying. Clickety click. <sighs> So you can just use your strength to break free. The entire up really good. The remote! Come on, Reed. You can do it! That's the remote for the chair? Use the wheelchair's remote. <laughs> what is happening? You can't untie your legs now? I can't turn. Okay, here we go. Whoop, I saw something. Is it just a roof? Nope, that was something. No, can't get it. And bam! door it's giving in knock down the door we're an autopilot here we go we're gonna break your legs get some no nope. i have gotta, to keep trying we gotta back up further we're gonna go all the way wow this thing is fast get some what That was weird. She just broke my knees. Oh no, she just did. She spun around somehow. How far am I into this game? Every time I think I'm getting close to the end, I'm only like halfway through. This one, three hours, really? Dude, I've been playing it for two hours tonight. And probably like four hours last time. All right, where am I? Uh, actually, I don't think we're there yet. Oh, oh, well, that's when I was hanging up. Okay, in the meat locker. I haven't seen that yet. We gotta be close here. Yep. Bam. Okay, so this is where we're at. Half. So we're uh, we're really close to three quarters of the way through. Play a little bit longer, I suppose. I was thinking of going to bed now. <laughs> You can do it, Reed. You 
fucking do it. Why'd they dress her like this? Fuck you! Was not Fuck you, with her boobs piece out. of shit! But it is you who completes the puzzle. You were the missing piece. A super tight skirt. So, is this not... Is this the lady from the first one? It looks like her, kind of, but her hair is definitely a different color. Lynn... It's useless. I guess that explains why ever. she wanted to find Jennifer Whatever so bad prefer, in the first one. She was Chilling, the whistling hanged However, man. The legend says that the old Professor Wyman hanged himself, there and even after his death, he was whistling limbo, a disturbing tune. Today his spirit wanders, tormenting his family and neighbors, whistling a tune to announce his deadly presence and cursing the unfortunate... To end up just like him, hanged till death. There's a secret door here. Alright, so he now we're in the present. He wanted you all to himself. There's lots of time jumps in this. Special items. When you eventually find some special items, that will aid you in surviving, or you will, surviving the horrors of the Ashman Inn. All of them follow the control pattern of diversion items. When you want to use them, hold right to prepare them and left to use. My things. The cassette player. Maybe I can use it. What do I have? Bottle. Music box. What does this do? Is there a, a diversion item? Huh. Every time I, it takes a second. Okay, go. I guess that's it. Oh, I don't know. I just saved the game. I suppose it's a perfect place to quit for the night. Break the chair for the lounge room? Crap. Oh, chain. This was the power room. Sure is dark. What is that? It was not anchored to this place, but it is you who completes the puzzle. You were the missing. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Two nuts, one stroke. Dang. In case you do quit, there's some history and two funny ones. Let's watch them. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Tommy. This is where the atomic bomb. The Stanford prison experiment was conducted in 1971. The three people. Would it be a deal? Nagasaki was destroyed. Speaking of the atomic bomb, we. We're going to watch Oppenheimer tonight. And then I got the news that I need to find a place to live. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to be here right now. All right. Stop, guy. Don't do that. Dude, that thing is gonna snap. This oh sorry. He was doing this. I'm like, no, don't do that. That's gonna snap. I don't know what this says. Alright, here we go. Oh no for 
friggin' way. <laughs> Boom. Dude, that thing had so much tension on it. That sucks. Worst human experiments, Stanford Prison Experiment. I've heard of that. The Stanford Prison Experiment was conducted in 1971 by psychologist that, Philip Zimbardo and his team to examine the psychological effects of perceived power and authority within a simulated prison environment. The Stanford Prison Experiment begins at the basement of Stanford University's Psychology Department on August 14, 1971. After undergoing a psychological assessment, Participants who were primarily college students were randomly assigned roles as either prisoners or guards. They were offered $15 a day. The prisoners were arrested at their homes by actual police officers, booked, and given prison uniforms. They were subsequently blindfolded and transported to the mock prison. The experiment started with the prisoners being strip-searched and de-loused. They were then assigned identification numbers and confined to their cells. The guards asserted their authority by implementing strict rules and routines. As the prisoners became accustomed to their roles, they began to rebel against the guards' authority. The guards, influenced by their perceived power, gradually adopted aggressive and authoritarian behavior. They employed physical punishments such as push-ups, solitary confinement, and withholding food as means of control and punishment. The prisoners were deprived of sleep as a form of psychological torture. The guards disrupted their sleep patterns by conducting frequent nighttime disturbances and enforcing arbitrary rules that prevented adequate rest. The guards subjected the prisoners to public humiliation, making them perform degrading acts or stripping them naked in front of others. The study was terminated after only six days due to the increasingly abusive behavior of the guards and the severe mental deterioration experienced by the prisoners. I think a similar experiment could be done, but by giving black people more rights in prison, make the maybe make them the guards over a bunch of white people. Mm. Video explains social compliance. The people will stand and sit without any instructions when hearing a sound. On the left are actors. They've been briefed to stand or sit when they hear this. Everyone else that's brought in is a genuine shortlisted applicant. They've been given no instructions other than to fill out their forms. My team and I were secretly watching from another room. The more socially compliant a person is, the more they're likely to look to others for signs of how to behave. This is going to be your spot. Just and the more people, okay. the greater the pressure to join in. In this case, whether to stand or sit. Some people speculate the Stanford Prison Experiment was to study how Nazis thought in the 1960s to debate on whether or not it was for money or not. Oh, I don't know. I don't I don't know anything about it. I just I think I listened to something on it at some point. Those people that didn't follow the crowd were removed. I think we have to lose Amy, sadly. Amy. Come with me. Once we had a full house. We got rid of the actors, leaving us with a room full of compliant people standing up and sitting down, even though nobody told them to do this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. People look to other people, see what's normal, I guess. They should have left that other lady in there to be the only one not doing it. Either she would have kept not doing it or eventually would have. 
Trump supporter has his mind changed. Would it be a deal breaker for you if someone said, for example, terminate the Constitution? Absolutely. Can I read you a message of Trump saying that on True Social? So here's him on True Social. And right there, he says a massive fraud talking about his belief that the election was stolen. Of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution. No, I don't agree with that. So if that was a deal breaker, then why isn't that something that really makes you question supporting him? Well, it's a good question. I mean, you, now you have started me questioning that. I mean, I, I haven't seen that. Okay. If, that was, if that was from Donald Trump, President Trump, I'll, I'll look into that. As far as I was aware, he was all about the Constitution, you know, family, God, guns, you know, what our founding fathers strive to, you know, principles to live by. So that, that's news to me. I, didn't, I hadn't, hadn't seen that. Who knows? It's so easy to own them, own people like that. You just have to have something like that. Perfect. But I think that most Americans would have said, that didn't happen. No, I'm not looking at your phone. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> most uh, Trump supporters, I guess. The epicenter of the atomic attack. Yeah, we were about to watch Freud, Oppenheimer tonight. And then I decided I, I didn't want to. So I came down here to do this instead. Hey, Tommy. This is where the atomic bomb was dropped. See that tower? Right here is the epicenter of the atomic bomb attack. About one third of Nagasaki was destroyed and 150,000 people killed or injured. One thing a lot of foreigners don't know about Nagasaki is that it was and still is the center of Christianity in Japan. That right there is the remains of the largest Catholic cathedral at the time in Japan. This was the ground level at the time of the atomic bomb. Is there no radiation there anymore? See? See, those are pieces of dishes. Those are pieces of people's roof tiles. So this right here is a monument to the 10,000 Koreans who were killed in the atomic blast. Many of them were here against their will. Leaving food, water, and other offerings on the graves of people who passed away is a tradition in Asia, and these water bottles are all left for the spirits of those Koreans who died here. These are all things that were found that were melted by the blast from the atomic bomb. That's a glass bottle. So that was a little girl's lunchbox. A lot of cranes. Cranes? No, these ones are already dead. A little paper crane right there. I'll tell you what, that museum was interesting. A few of the displays were a little bit graphic for our younger kids, but uh, I'm glad we went. This is the one legged tori. A tori is a gate, it is a symbol of Shintoism. Half of this one was blown away by the atomic bomb. People got little origami cranes and bottles down there. That'd be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, and back then they probably weren't making them like they do now. <laughs> they do a whole lot more damage now. Was it what was like the first one? I don't know. A trip to a museum like this or Auschwitz really helps him make people's outlook on other ethnicities. Yeah. Nah. Really helps humble people's outlook. Yeah, it's easy to forget how bad it was. A lot of stuff. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to go to bed. I'll come back tomorrow. I guess I'll play more of this game. I can finish it and then start something else cool. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say, I guess. 
I just need to. I was right when I was thinking I just need to find a place and go. Because I've been basically mentally and emotionally abused for so long. I'm just, I'm just over it, you know? I feel like if I had lots of money, I I would have just not come home last Thursday and just found went somewhere else. But I don't, so <clears throat> I got to stay with it for now until I find something. Yeah. And tonight it was like or I was showing the list of uh, couples counselors and she read them and said I like that one and I said I've been thinking that you should continue looking for a place to live and I was like okay well I don't want to watch the movie anymore I'm going to go do something else so I'm here but I do have to get some sleep so I don't feel worse tomorrow so uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, what is it? Tomorrow's the twentieth. The twenty second is um, uh, Pacific Drive comes out on the twenty second. So what day is that? That is Thursday. So Thursday we'll be playing Pacific Drive, which means I should get this game done tomorrow but you know i'm not going to quite be able to finish it tomorrow maybe wednesday be ready for pacific drive on tuesday and there it is wait play wait what wait what Demo? Demo. I didn't think I had that installed. That's what I thought. February 22. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Do I get to play it early? Because I, I accidentally pre-ordered it. <laughs> I thought it was out already, so I got it, but it, it was just a pre-order. So we'll be playing this on Thursday. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I might play Satisfactory on Wednesday. Uh, the 1.0 release is supposed to be this year sometime. So I don't quite know if I want to switch the server because when the 1.0 comes out, we'll definitely I'll definitely be playing it. It'll have the story, which we've never had before, which is something I'm probably most looking forward to. So um, probably towards the end of the year, if I had to guess. Uh, okay. Well, unless you guys can come up with something better to do tomorrow or Wednesday, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll work on Remothered tomorrow. If I don't finish it, finish it up on Wednesday and then either play Satisfactory or look for something else to do. I still have, uh, Outer Wilds that I haven't finished yet. And I don't know if I really can finish it, but we could play it some more, discover some new planets and stuff, but I don't know. If you guys think of something, let me know. Uh, if not, uh, Pacific Drive on Thursday, I'll play that, and I'll just scroll through Steam until I find something else that looks good to play next, I guess. All right, have a good night, everybody, and I will talk to you tomorrow. And also, if you guys want to play something Wednesday instead of doing satisfactory 
Um, let's do it. I'd be playing Satisfactory with you guys if you were on anyway, so we can do something else if you want. But Okay, have a good night, guys. Talk to you later.